Hello and welcome to Kachu Travels. In this episode, I discuss some of the locations that are associated with the Amazon web series Family Man 2. Did you like Family Man 2? Well, I like the packaging and the camera work. I also like the storytelling. I did, however, feel that they could have done better work in terms of research whenever they had to depict the Elam Tigers. While it is shot in Mumbai, Chennai, London, and some parts of Tamil Nadu, we're going to, and of course Sri Lanka, uh, we're going to focus on southern Tamil Nadu and northern Sri Lanka. I have incidentally traveled to these places and I'm going to talk on these locations that lie on the international border between southern Tamil Nadu and northern Sri Lanka. So let's get to the video and let's get to those places. So the first point, if you remember, that came in the video was Point Pedro in Sri Lanka. Do you remember this scene? The other point is when they talk about Jaffna in Sri Lanka or Northern Sri Lanka. The two other points are Vidaranyam in Tamil Nadu, which is actually shown as Veeraranyam in the Amazon web series. And the other is when Point Kalimur is being talked about, which is also a place in Tamil Nadu. We're also going to add a couple of more places to this which is in the conflict zone between Southern Tamil Nadu and Northern Sri Lanka and those are Rameshwaram Dhanushkodi in Tamil Nadu which is an entry point for a lot of people who were part of Northern Sri Lanka especially the Tamils who were fleeing the place in search of stability and of course the, another place called Balbet Itturai and it was also the birthplace of uh, the former Elam Tamil Supremo, Captain Prabhakaran. So let's pick the first place today, which is of course Point Pedro. Now in this scene, as you see in the Amazon web series, they wanted to bury the arms near Point Pedro, where you know, which Raji and Selva, the characters come for much later to you know take this to go bomb Chief Minister and the Prime Minister when they're about to meet. Point Pedro is Sri Lanka's northernmost tip. It has a very pleasant coastline and this beach is 3 miles long and 20 miles wide. I had a beautiful evening drive here. The nearest point on the Indian coastline is Kodiakare. It's about 30 to 40 kilometers away. Now between Kodiakare and Point Pedro is where the smuggling happens in Family Man 2. Incidentally, Point Pedro was coined by the Portuguese who ruled over this place because it was a rocky cape. But in Tamil, it is called as Parittitturai, which basically means a cotton harbour, very fertile lands basically. It's also a strategically important place in the seas. The One of the most talked about canal projects was the Sedu Samudram project. And if that happens, it allows larger ships to pass through Rameshwaram, Kachativa Island and of course, uh, Point Pedro. There will be a lot of cost savings for ships because today they have to go through the southern part of Sri Lanka to then go to the other parts of Southeast Asia which is a 650 kilometer detour. The next point as covered in this area is Valvetitturai. It's the birthplace of the Elam Supremo, Captain Prabhakaran. I was able to go in the lane where his erstwhile house was. It's right now demolished. It just leaves a small wall showing that he lived here. The town also has a very prominent NGR statue in recognition of the funding that the former AIADMK Supremo gave in the early days of the Elam. MGR was the former Tamil Nadu chief minister uh, and his you know, name reads out as MG Ramachandran. But more on the town, Valvetitturai, what does it exactly mean? If the name basically has three parts, Vallai meaning big forest, Vedi means open space and Turai meaning port. That is, that is the etymology of the name Valvetitturai. Now as you approach the town, the scars of the three decades long civil war still lingers on and it's not a great sight. I saw this when I went there in 2019 during the Indian festival of Diwali. That brings us to the third location in this series, which is Jaffna. This is part of a larger district called the Jaffna district. And if you've seen the uh, Family Man 2, Jaffna is you know, prominently featured whenever they have scenes in Sri Lanka talking about the Elams. 
Now, Jaffna is the main district. It has a bunch of small islands like Deft Island, Kachatthiwe, and all of these was the epicenter of the Tamil Elam movement. Now, some of the other attractions in Jaffna is the iconic Nallur Murugan Koil Temple, and to you know also try the Jaffna Colombo train line. which cuts through the elam check posts of wavunia and elephant pass it is a good way to see the countryside which till now was covered completely in landmines this side of sri lanka is slowly limping back to normalcy but jaffna is also about uh, a lot of good vegetarian food because tamil people are predominantly vegetarian not the kind of tamil people you see in tamil nadu but i think the sri lankan tamils um, have a preference for vegetarian and i remember going to about three such places to enjoy some very interesting tamil vegetarian food now that brings to an end the first episode of the locations of family man 2 Do stay tuned for the second episode which talks about locations in southern Tamil Nadu. Till then, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.